Hello, in today's episode we are going to talk about Velociraptor. If you are enjoying our content, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click the bell to be notified about our future releases. You can also support us with YouTube Premium Membership, which will grant you benefits, such as viewing our videos early, loyalty badges, and access to supporter-only polls. We also have mobile games, available both on Play Store and App Store, which will be linked in description. Velociraptor is a genus of dromaeosaurid theropod dinosaur that lived approximately 75 to 71 million years ago during the latter part of the Cretaceous period. Two species are currently recognized, although others have been assigned in the past. The type species is Velociraptor mongoliensis, fossils of this species have been discovered in Mongolia. A second species, Velociraptor osmolski, was named in 2008 for skull material from Inner Mongolia, China. Smaller than other dromaeosaurids like Deinonychus and Achillobator, Velociraptor nevertheless shared many of the same anatomical features. It was a bipedal carnivore with a long tail and an enlarged sickle-shaped claw on each hind foot, which is thought to have been used to tackle and tear into prey. Velociraptor can be distinguished from other dromaeosaurids by its long and low skull, with an upturned snout. Velociraptor was a meat-sized dromaeosaurid, with adults measuring up to 2.07 meters long, half a meter high at the hip, and weighing up to 15 kilograms, though there is a higher estimate of 19.7 kilograms. This would make it around the size of a small goat. The skull, which grew up to 25 centimeters long, was uniquely upcurved, concave on the upper surface and convex on the lower. The jaws were lined with 26 to 28 widely spaced teeth on each side, each more strongly serrated on the back edge than the front. Velociraptor, like other dromaeosaurids, had a large hands with three strongly curved claws, which were similar in construction and flexibility to the wing bones of modern birds. The second digit was the longest of the three digits present, while the first was shortest. The structure of the wrist bones prevented pronation of the wrist and forced the hands to be held with the palmar surface facing inward. Whereas most theropods had feet with three digits contacting the ground, dromaeosaurids like Velociraptor walked on only their third and fourth digits. The second digit, for which Velociraptor is most famous, was highly modified and held retracted off the ground. It bore a relatively large, sickle-shaped claw, typical of dromaeosaurid, and trudontid dinosaurs. This enlarged claw, which could grow to over 6.5 centimeters long around its outer edge, was most likely a predatory device used to tear into or restrain struggling prey. Fossils of dromaeosaurids more primitive than Velociraptor are known to have had feathers covering their bodies and fully developed feathered wings. The fact that the ancestors of Velociraptor were feathered and possibly capable of flight had long suggested to paleontologists that Velociraptor bore feathers as well, since even flightless birds today retain most of their feathers. In September 2007, researchers found quill knobs on the forearm of a Velociraptor found in Mongolia. These bumps on bird wing bones show where feathers anchor, and their presence on Velociraptor indicated two had feathers. Paleontologists interpreted the presence of feathers on Velociraptor as evidence against the idea that the larger, flightless Manoraptorans lost their feathers secondarily due to larger body size. Furthermore, they noted that quill knobs are almost never found in flightless bird species today, and that their presence in Velociraptor is evidence that the ancestors of dromaeosaurids could fly, making Velociraptor and other large members of this family secondarily flightless, though it is possible the large wing feathers inferred in the ancestors of Velociraptor had a purpose other than flight. The feathers of the flightless Velociraptor may have been used for display, for covering their nests while brooding, or for added speed and thrust when running up inclined slopes. First Velociraptor fossils were found in 1923 by American Museum of History expedition to Gobi Desert in Outer Mongolia. It consisted of a crushed, but complete skull, and one of the raptorial second toe claw. 
While the American teams were shut out of Mongolia during Cold War, expeditions by Soviet and Polish scientists, in collaboration with Mongolians, recovered several more of Velociraptor specimens. Most famous of those being the so-called fighting dinosaurs, being Velociraptor stuck in battle against Protoceratops, while both of them were buried under the sand. In 1990 another fossils were found in Chinese part of Gobi Desert, consisting of several well-preserved skeletons. Velociraptor was most likely an active predator, preying on smaller or similar sized dinosaurs. By comparing scleral rings of Velociraptors to modern day birds of prey, it might have been a nocturnal hunter. There are also more similarities to modern day birds of prey, such as the way Velociraptor hunted and killed its prey. Most likely it jumped on prey, pinned it down with its legs, then started eating it alive, and the prey death would come from blood loss and organ failure. Examinations of the skull, also reveal that Velociraptor might have been able to detect a wide range of sound frequencies, which would help it track prey with ease. Velociraptor are well known for their role as vicious and cunning killers thanks to their portrayal in the 1990 novel Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton, and its 1993 film adaptation, directed by Steven Spielberg. The raptors portrayed in Jurassic Park were actually modeled after the closely related Dromaeosaurid Deinonychus. Paleontologists in both the novel and film excavate a skeleton in Montana, far from the Central Asian range of Velociraptor but characteristic of the Deinonychus range. Not only it was larger than an actual Velociraptor, but also featherless. <laughs>